OK, so let's talk about another uh, very important part is called date classification. So date classification is very important in date visualization and also in map design. So if you look at this example, so um, this is the corpus map where they are using different colors to representing uh, the values and what are the problems. Well, I think the biggest problem is that they're using too many colors, right? So if we recall what we have learned in the color design, so to representing the quantitative data, we should use either sequential or diverging color scheme. So the previous example has a lot of um, colors. So this is a better uh, design where the sequential um, color uh, going from light to dark is much easier to understand uh, the, the data. Or we can just not use the color, so just use uh, the grayscale to represent the data. Okay, so what are the other issues? So here we are looking at the uh, unemployment rate uh, for state in different years. So what are the issues in addition to using too many colors. So what are the issues on those two maps? So imagine that if you have a dashboard that has two maps. And let's look closer. OK, so now we compare the scale side by side. So now you can say they are using the inconsistent scales or they are using the same color to representing the different range. You can see purple okay they represent different uh, colors uh, different uh, scales so that is why that data classification is very important so that if we want to make co consistent comparison we need to use the right at least consistent data classifications and normally there are four methods of data classification uh, we have equal intervals quantile uh, natural breaks and also standard deviations. So in many professional GIS tools like ArcGIS, etc., so they allow you to choose which type of data classification you want. So the first one is uh, equal intervals. So in equal intervals mean that uh, we are classified data by equal steps. So for example, we have those numbers and we rank the number from the least to the from minimal to the maximal and next uh, we divide that so how many steps or how many groups we want so for example in this case we want five groups so we get a range which is a maximum number subtract minimal number and we use the range divided by the number of the groups and we have the step okay so now we all start from step. So the minimal number plus a step, that's your first number. So the first group. And uh, this number plus step, we have a second group. OK, a third group, which we have only one value. Fourth group, there's no value in this range. And our last group. OK, so that is a classification by using the equal steps. We can also use uh, based on quantiles. So that means number of items in each group. OK, so in this case, for example, we still want five groups. So we use a number of items divided by the number of group. And we have the number of items that in each group. So again, we start from the minimum value. So three, the first three items belong to group one. The next three items belong to groups two group three, group four, and our last group only has two items, uh, which is fine. OK, so that is classification by quantiles. And the next is by nature, by natural break. So natural break means that we want to divide uh, the data by the biggest jump. OK, so we want to find out the biggest jump in the data, and we divide the data uh, um, following by the next biggest difference. Okay, so in this case, for example, 
the first biggest difference probably is here. Okay, four four hundred different from two hundred and forty. And the next you are you need to find out the second the biggest difference. Um I'm not sure, um probably this one. And uh, the third the biggest difference. Uh I'm guessing, so probably um this one and the third. Okay, so something like that. Uh, I may not be the one hundred percent accurate in this case in the in the orders, but the idea is that we divide the data based on the biggest differences among those groups or between those groups. The last data classification is called the standard deviation. So that is very simple. So that we just calculate the mean values and also around those mean values, we can classify data based on one standard deviation, half standard deviation or, or quarter of the standard deviation. Okay, so in this case, we first we calculate mean values, and probably this is a mean value, and this is a mean value plus one standard deviation and plus two standard deviation. Okay, and now we have those different type of the data classifications. So which one is the right one? Okay, we know that for the same data, if we are using different data classification methods. The result will be different. So which one is the right one? Well, the answer is there's no absolutely right one and there's no absolutely wrong one. Okay, so that really depends on um, the topic or the story that you want to tell from your map. Okay, uh, so you need to have a reason that to choose a specific uh, data classification. So, for example, if you want uh, to compare the data, like say the population over different years, the change of population over different years, so you may want to use equal steps. Okay, so that might, so that makes the uh, uh, the comparison consistent. And if you want to compare like the different um, values, for example, uh, population versus employ employ uh, employment rate. And you can choose standard deviation because those are different numbers, different measures. So you can use uh, standard deviation to make that uh, stand comparison normalized. And also uh, remember that choose different data classifications. The map will be talking a, a different story. So for example, by using the equal intervals, we see a cluster pattern. Okay, of the uh, of the population, and if we use a, a standard deviation, and we see like a more um, universe or uniform pattern, although there are still a lot of people in this part. Okay, so the idea is that so for data classification, it is very important choose different data classifications. Uh, your map or your visualization will be look totally different. And there's no absolutely right or wrong uh, method you, you can choose. So it's really case by case. And you as the map designer uh, need to justify uh, the reason that why you choose specific data classification method.